What's up, everybody? It's Bill from High Volume Games, and welcome to the 2021 High Volume Games Extra Life Video Marathon. So, what we're doing uh, normally with Extra Life, which we've done for the last six, six years, this is our seventh, um, is we do streaming for 24 hours. Um, unfortunately, not feeling all that well lately, so sitting for 24 hours, you know. Uh, so, what I did was I've recorded a bunch of videos uh, focusing on some of my favorite games and gonna just gonna put them out every couple of hours and until we get through the 24 hours and uh, I'm gonna have a link in the description below how you can check out extra life um, which donates money to the Children's Miracle Network, and in my case, uh, we are raising money for Boston Children's Hospital, the local hospital uh, in my area. So today we're going to start off by playing my favorite game of all time. We played it on the channel before. It is Red, White, and Blue Racing from Play, from Play Games. Uh, we're going to continue our 2021 scram circuit um we're at race number three which is the sun coast capital uh sun coast capital 400 it's race three of the season uh i can tell you matt bush won the first race of the season uh dick exum in that number three famous car won the second one um, unfortunately they're not running for the playoffs because they're you know part-time with aaron hartley uh, but they're running for the owner's championship. Um, so we're in race three. Where I did It's a 40-turn race, so I've done 20 of the turns off-screen. We're going to do the final 20 turns uh, and get the show on the road. So thanks to everyone who is watching. Uh, and thank you to everyone who will watch throughout the day. Thank you for to those um, who have donated so far. Um, I know for a fact Adam Jennings donated uh, from Promotion Wars, and we had an, an anonymous donation, uh, and I donated. So uh, thank you to everyone who, who donates today. And also, um, in a few weeks, we're actually going to have a streamed uh, uh, a streamed little marathon that's going to be Steve Tower and myself. We're gonna, we know for a fact we're going to do a five-game series. With the Boston Red Sox and the Miami Marlins, uh, we might try to add a few extra games in there. Uh, so, with that being said, let's get into this game. We're already halfway through. We're we're halfway through stage two of the race, but there's 20 turns to go. So, I'm going to roll my dice. Uh, we are... Oh, let me tell you what's gone on in the 20 turns. Uh, not much... Well, a lot of little things went on. A lot of problem rolls. Um, you can tell right off the bat, uh, Wayne Montana here was the first to have a problem roll uh, in, like, turn two. Uh, and since then, you know, he's just moved up just because people have had issues. So he is was 43rd at one point, is now up to 36th. So he might squeak out a decent day out of this. Um, we've had two people out of the race, including our... Uh, Ice Brew 600 winner, uh, Matt Bush. He went out in 43rd place. He did get some stage points in stage one, so that'll help him. But he was the point leader going into this race, and he's going to take a hit. Uh, Buck Trimble also uh, is out. He went for a feud, um, missed, then couldn't escape. So basically, like he tried to make a move under Stu Yurick. Uh, and crashed himself, so he's out of the race. Um, the first stage went to Cooper Mixon. He won the uh, the first stage, and we've had five different leaders. Well, not four different leaders, five lead changes. Mixon, Bush, Mixon again, Bigler, and now Jason Leonard is leading us. We have Jason Leonard leading, Link Revere, Justin Mahler, Corey Wallace, and Cooper Mixon round out the top five. All right, here we go. 
So a roll is a five on the tarp, which means the bottom group, and an eight, and they're, they're doubles. So we're going to roll for the smart roll throughout the bottom, this whole bottom group. And then we'll, when, whoever moves up is moves up, whoever moves down moves down, and then we'll roll our problem roll after that. Okay, so smart roll. I'm going to use uh, my uh, my cool garage. My uh, print 3D universe. We'll put our challenge die. That way we know we can show whose turn it is. Uh, smart, 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 smart. Wait, Montana. Here's his chance. Uh, four, four, two. So he's going to look at even four, which is Brooks Bilovich, and two is uh, is good. Uh, Parnell Drake. Uh, Parnell Drake rolls a red six. We know no one can get a red six and move on because again, red is the gas pedals. This first set of boxes. Uh, we know nobody has six gas pedals. Uh, reflex. Uh, I'm sorry, smart for Freylix. No, he has. He rolled a four on the red. He has a three. So we go to Clark Snook, in 27th place. Uh, Snook rolls a red six. Julie Justice rolls a three five three. So odd five and three. Pete McAtee can block two, but cannot block three. So Julie Justice, who started out well in the back, is now moved up to 17th place. And Chris Wynn and Carson Hargert, Hargert are the next to go. Um, Chris Wynn did not have five gas pedals. And Carson Hargett, one, four, four. Odd four, which is Stu Yurick, and four. Yes, that's good enough. Carson Hargett knocks down Stu Yurick. So that is our turn. Now we roll the problem roll. 43, I have to actually look at the chart on the bottom. When it comes to the bottom group, I have to look at the chart. 43 is driver 11 in the bottom group. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it's Moondog Hamilton. All right, we'll roll Moondog. Uh, 45 on the problem roll is radiator damage. Roll for repair. Now, he is a B. We're still in the second third, though, so he's okay. Uh, it'll be an 8. He has to dodge. Well, he's, he rolls a 7, so he's good. So he He's still in. He's going to drop down, though, because he's got to fix that radiator damage. So he's going to drop down and be one lap down. We've had a couple of drivers a lap down, but because of the cautions that we've had between uh, Bush and Trimble, we've they've managed to get their laps back, so Moondog will be the only car one lap down at the moment. All right, so that is turn 21. We are just a three turns away from stage two ending. Uh, middle group, five. So that is Reflex. So Aaron Hart with, in that three car that Dick Axel won in last week. He is first. Uh, three, three, four. Three works. He's going up against Corey Wallace, and Corey has one, two, three, four. No, he cannot beat him. He has enough brake pedals to block. Uh, reflex, Julie Justice, who already moved up from the bottom group. Goes three one two. Oh wow, that's actually gonna work because Link Revere only has one brake pedal at this point, so he will drop. And Julie Justice went from just on a tear at the end. She must have a good long run car right now. Knows the camera's on, so she just instantly <laughs> started moving. Donna Torville, 446. That's actually going to knock Cooper Mixon 
who has, like I said, led twice and won the stage, but he's going to drop down to 15th. Carson Hargrove again. 3-1-2, that will not work because Julie Justice has way more than two brake pedals. Uh, Jeff Daly, now we're getting into the people who have uh, chips, so they can move up using those chips if they don't move up on their own. Uh, Jeff Daly, 2-5-4, that's actually going to work well enough that he's going to beat McLaren on his own, so he'll keep his chip and move into sixth place. Jordy Pettis. Uh, Jordy goes 3-6-5, same situation. Uh, he'll be able to take the or take the spot, 7th place from Bigler. And now Chase Fetterman. Uh, Fetterman goes 1-5-2, so he won't be able to beat Jeff Daly. Uh, the rule I always do is... Uh, if it can help them increase their position, they would use the chip. In this case, it doesn't help them increase the position. Even if it was, you know, taking, if, like, say he had a, a second turn, like, because he had a star or something, he would take it, you know. But in this case, nothing, uh, he doesn't increase or anything by taking the chip. So he'll keep his chip. And there is the turn. So we are on 23, and it's a middle group skill, roll doubles, so we'll have a problem roll after the skill. So no, no, oh, Ray Bob has two uh, rolls here. Uh, 2 five, one does nothing, and 6 five, two does nothing. Oh, two skill rolls, it doesn't get anything. Uh, Link Revere goes 2-5-3 on Jeff Daly. Uh, 1-2, and he doesn't have the skill, so no, he's going to lose his chip, but he keeps his position. But that could help somebody later. Cooper Mixon. 4-4-6, four, four, he just basically took the spot right back from Donna Torville. She held that spot, and he took it right back. Uh, Wayne Montana. Again, another one of these. The camera's turned on and he started moving up. Uh, 4 2 1 is not going to do anything now. Uh, Paxton McLaren. 2 5 5. So that he's going to be the one to actually take Jeff Daly's spot. Thanks to. Uh, who was it? Uh, Link Revere, maybe? Somebody in the back there took the chip. Okay, so. Austin Bigler, former leader of this race, he's going to red six it. Uh, Chase Fetterman. My, my die did not make it into the box, but one, six, two. Uh, so again, same situation, you know. He, he could go and take Jordy's chip away, but it's not worth it to him. He's still in ninth place, defending against that. The only thing that he worries now is he's still part of this problem roll. So we'll roll the problem roll. It's 4-2, so it's the even person. Oh my goodness, it's Wayne Montana. <laughs> Poor Wayne. He, he got the problem roll in roll 2. Went down to 43rd. Made his way back to 14th. He's going to have another problem. Let's see what it is. Oh, actually... Oh, no. Actually, I'm wrong. Because of this, yes, a pit crew of B or better in this track, he doesn't have this problem. See, his other one was the... Uh, the other... Oh, no, that's for 11 only. Okay, so yeah, no. All right, so that that's just for 11 that the pit crew of B or more has no problem. This was a roll double, so okay. Oh, it's 22. Brake problem. Roll for repair. He is an A. Still in that second group. or well, second. Third. So we will go with a 
So he has to be under he has to be under a nine. And he rolls a twelve. Wayne Montana is out of the race. Oh no, Wayne. Wayne Montana was actually out in or forty third last race. Now he's out in forty second. This is not a good start to his season. So he's only gonna get one point for the second. It sounds like my my NASCAR twenty one ignition uh, uh, season on video games. I won the Daytona five hundred, and then I got crashed out the last two races. <laughs> so I get two points. So he's gonna give up his spot. Wait, Montana, one point. At least when Bush went out, oh, we rolled for who's gonna move up to the middle group, and so far the first two guys didn't want it because they're like, that middle group is insane. So, let's see. I have my book right here. Oh, I got my book right here. With the point standings, because I'm still old school. Um, yeah, Montana was sitting at this point. So far, I can't see it. Oh, in 28th place with 31 points. He had 30 points in race one. Only got one point race two, and only has one point race three. So that's going to put him out of the top 30. So he's going to have some issues this as we go on in this season. So last move before the uh, last move before the stage ends. Good spot for Jason Leonard right now. Well, it's going to be a duel, so Leonard will win the stage. Uh, it's Cooper Mixon going for Julie Justice. Uh, Cooper will take the spot. Justice will have to escape a nine to keep her spot in the top five. And rolls a six, so that's all good. Just a little flip-flopping position. Again, that's really good for Cooper Mixon, uh, who won the stage in stage one. Now it's going to come off with nine points in stage two. Uh, making sure he is going to be a threat in the... Uh, the point standings for this year. 82. Jason Leonard is our stage winner. Mixon is second. Uh, Mahler is third. Corey Wallace having a heck of a season so far. In fourth, Julie Justice rounds out the top five. Paxton McLaren uh, is six Jordy Pettis, who had a bad start to the season, but is is catching that now, uh, is in seventh. Axel Barbeau is eighth. Chase Fetterman, ninth. And Blake Schlegel, a non-trophy driver, getting that tenth spot, getting a playoff point. All right, so we have we're at turn. This will be turn twenty-five here. Middle group six. Skill, middle group. Chris Wynn, our newly entered middle group uh, person. One, four, three. Uh, Julie Justice can beat three. So he does not get it. Next is Ray Bob Walker with two shots. Oh no, Walker rolls triple fives. Could we lose Walker and Montana? <laughs> Ray Bob rolls a 26 on the problem roll. Electrical problem roll for repair. He is an A, uh, so it's a 7 or less. He rolls an 8. We lose Ray Bob Walker. Oh, my goodness. We've lost three of the biggest names of, <laughs> in this race.
is Bush, uh, Montana, and Walker lose. And the only good thing for our friend Matt Bush, if we go back to our point standings, is uh, Raymond Walker was second in points behind Bush. And uh, so Bush had a bad day. Now Raybob has had a bad day. You won't pass Raybob. The problem is you've got, again, Cooper Mixon has already essentially passed them because of playoff points. <laughs> so neither one are going to be the point leader getting out of this race. All right, so this was skill. Uh, let's finish it up, and then we'll move everybody. Four, one, two. No, Cooper Mixon has a bunch. Not a lot of skill in this middle group. That sounds bad that I said that, but four, four, three. Uh, Julie Justice can block three. And then Chase Fetterman. Maybe he won't roll on Jordy Pettis right now. He did. <laughs> Two, six, three. But he's actually going to win this time. So they're going to swap position. Now the question is, did he use his chip? Or did he use his chip to get it? Yes. So they, or they lose their chips. Uh, so, turn 25 is done. We got to put another person in here to replace Ray Bob. It's going to be Tom Rossi in the five. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to do uh, owners' championships this year because there's a, there's several teams that are running multiple drivers: the 44, uh, the 83, the three, and so with those drivers technically not eligible for the playoffs because they're not running every race, uh, they will. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. Okay, so turn 26. Three eight middle eight, which is smart. So this middle group is jostling for position, but it's actually not helping them because most of them have a problem or some sort. Four one five. Ooh, Cooper Mixon's gonna lose a lot of spots to uh, Chris Wynn. Oh yeah, it's smart. Okay, Aaron Hartley. Two, two, four, Aaron Hartley. Oh, goodness, the three team <laughs> is moving up. Can they get, can the three team get two in a row? Well, not really, because Donna Torville's going to come back with a one, two, six, not Hartley, who Hartley moved like one position. <laughs> uh, Carson Hargert. Oh, 165. So Carson Argard's going to take Fetterman. So Fetterman did all that work to get to 7th and then drops back to 14th. Gary Cassiola has been very quiet with that chip. Uh, 265. So actually, 265 will take the position and keep the chip. That could be a lead. A possible lead move later on. Uh, three, two, four. For Jeff Daly. And that will be enough. Je Donna Torville just doesn't know uh, where she wants to be. Austin Biggs. Austin Bigler. Austin Biggs, as I call him. Two, six, five. That's good enough to knock the chip off of Cassiola. And that's going to be it. So that is turn 26. So we're going to go to the pit stop. Uh, three and eight. Or well, three and five and three. So three and five are going to switch spots. Uh, 
or Carson Harder. It literally went all the way up just to go all the way to the same spot he was in. Uh, okay, so we'll check the middles for fast pit. Uh, Rossi, yes. Mixon, yes. Hargert, no, so we'll put those chips on them. Torville, yes. Hartley, yes. Fetterman, no, so we'll put those there. Justin Mahler, not a chance, because he's a two. <laughs> Link Revere, no. Austin Bigler, yes. Uh, Blake Schlegel, no. Jordy Pettis, yes. Axel Barbo, no. So. so now we have to remember that these two that had chips, they do not have the they did not do it this time. So Jordy goes first. Then Bigler here. Hartley here. Torville here. Mixon here. And Rossi here. Okay. Now we'll roll to see of the leaders who's going to challenge for the lead. It's Chris Wynn. And he misses, so no. So this is good for Jason Leonard. He only has to get a few more uh, laps in or turns in, and he could uh, get a, a bonus chip for leading 10 turns. Now we have a feud, or not a feud, a duel in the top group. It's the six of Kerry Cass, the six spot Kerry Cassiola in the two car against Chris Wynn, and Cassiola gets it. So now Wynn has to dodge a nine, or nine or less. Nine or less is good. That rolls at 11. Oh no! So Chris Wynn is going to have some trouble. Um, let's see. Now he's a B. We are now in the third, uh, or the final third. So a six or less. But it's a four, so Chris Wynn is still in, but we have now got a caution. Everybody moves up. A good spot for Jordy Pettis, who gets back into the top group with a chip. However, because of this, uh, oh no, not yet. One more move for Jordy. Because, uh, like I said, Bigler is going to get a chip for 10 consecutive turns as the leader. So everybody moves up. We're going to have that caution, which means Moondog Hamilton will get the lucky dog. Get his lap back. And Wynn is now the only person one lap down. So we'll cut the turn and the caution. So we're now at turn 30. Again, if he could go 10, or if Leonard, I said Bigler, it's Leonard. If Leonard can uh, survive this lap, he'll get a chip. And he should, because it's a bottom group. So smart, unless somebody is doubly smart. Actually, no, doubly smart would only get them in the middle. So yeah, Leonard will get a chip. All right, so smart in the bottom. Can Chris win? Drive himself back and just pit. Maybe his fresh tires will get him back in. Would help if I did the right die. Uh, three five five. Yes, it is good because yes, it's better than Link Revere, so he'll get his lap back. But he won't move up. Uh, Brooks Bilovich actually is double smart. Uh, six one two does nothing. And four, three, four. What does that do? Four is good enough. Three, even three. 
and actually does nothing but takes Tom Rossi's chip away. But maybe helps him later on. Parnell Drake. Odd 1, 6. So same situation. It'll just take Aaron Hartley's chip away. So even 1, 6 for Noah Freilich is going to do the same thing. So the, the bottom group is, is, you know, kinking into the armor, but not able to get past. Uh, 161, that should not be good enough. Okay. Pete McAtee, Piston, Pete, 564 is not good enough. And that is it. So, turn 30. 10 to go. Uh, middle group, 8. Well, middle group, smart. Carson. Person does not get it with a 6 3 1. Uh, next person up with Smart is Cooper Mixon. Uh, Cooper goes 4 2 1, which would not work, but he's got a chip, so he's going to use that chip to get back into third. And Donna Torville. Uh, Donna Torville 2 1 3. That is good enough, so Torville will come back up with a chip. Yes, the could only block two. Uh, Hartley. Four, one, four, six. So actually, Hartley's going to get the spot from Julie Justice, and Hartley is in the top five. Austin Bigler. No. So that is turn 31. We got some moving up here. Bottom group, Heat. Ooh. Moondog Hamilton. Who just got back on the lead lap not too long ago. 154. Odd 54 is good. Moondog Hamilton and gonna knock poor Link Revere to the way back. Heat. Um Trevor Trostel, 1-3-6, odd 3-6, and Trostel's going to take that spot from Fetterman. Eat. Kevin Pettis, who had an early problem. 4-5-1, uh, even 5. Actually, it's going to work, because Carson Hargert could not block 1. <laughs> so poor Hargert. Just fading away now. Parnell Drake. Three, four, odd four, three, which is just going to knock Barbo's chip away. But he had that chip for a long time, so that's not bad. And, okay, one other person, Irv Wagenseller. How Irv got to 20th, I have no idea. Uh, five three two does not work. So thirty two is done. Uh, bottom group again. Smart. Chris win. This is his shot. No, he read six is it. See, not a lot of smart in the top middle group because we've had so many rolls of that. Middle group, no. Oh, or, I mean, red six, no. Brooks Bilovich gets two rolls in smart. He red six is the first one. And triple one on the second, which means he's got a problem. Oh, no. Thirteen. Multiple problems. Unable to continue. We lose the former champion of our division. Brooks Bilovich. Oh. And since Bilovich spent most of the time in this race towards the back of the field, he's going to only get one point. 
We have lost multiple race winners in Walker and Montana. Our current only person in the playoffs, uh, Matt Bush and Brooks Bilovich, the former champion, all in the same race. All right, let's move. Let's keep rolling, and we'll see. We'll move everybody up after that. Uh, two, five, one. Odd five. Yes. So Parnell Drake will knock Moondog Hamilton back. Noah Fralix. Five, four, five. Scared me for a second. Uh, Clark Snook. Uh, two, one, six. That sounds like a good roll. Uh, two, one, even one, which is Justin Mahler. Jeez, remember Justin Mahler not too long ago was up in the top. Now he is back in 24th. Uh, Piston Pete McAtee. One, six, two. Odd, six, two. He's going to take Stu Yurick's spot. Stu basically essentially went right back to where he was. And that's it. So 34. A lead group control. Okay, this would be interesting. He doesn't have a control. So he's got a, only a three to block. Oh, but he does against Jordy Pettis, and Jordy's not going to use his chip. He, I mean, he could, but it's not worth it to him. Oh, Corey Wallace rolls 666. Corey Wallace is going to have a problem. Thirty-two. I've actually rolled thirty-two. Loose in turn, so he's actually he's still in the race, but he's going to drop to the end of the pack. Uh, I'll move that up when we uh, figure out stuff. Aaron Hartley. Aaron Hartley six one five does not work. Paxton McLaren three six one that doesn't work. Oh, Cooper makes it two six three or two three six. Sorry. That will, oh, that will knock over the chip. That's it. And Donna Torvel's going to benefit this. And she will go 1-3-3. Three, three. That doesn't work, but she'll use her chip and take the lead at turn 34. Was that move a little too early? We'll see. Torvel just are... Oh, of course, the the uh, leaf blower guy is outside. He does it every day, just which is basically just blowing his leaves into the road. <laughs> All right, thirty-five. It's the lead group smart this time. Oh wait, we gotta we gotta first roll to see. Well, we it will be lead group smart, but let's roll to see who's in the lead group. There we go. Bigler's gonna take that spot. Give a shout out to Blake Schlegel, who is not had any of the has not had any rolls that would use his chip, but it, because he's had that chip since turn. What? A uh, turn 17 is kept himself in the middle group. Irv Wagonseller gets back in the middle group and everybody moves up from the Corey Wallace issues. Well, actually, I hadn't even moved up the other people from the uh, Bilovich thing, but okay. So there we go. Down to 38 cars in this race. Oh, oh, and Corey Wallace is no Corey Wallace was loose in turn, right? Yeah, so he is not a lap down. Loose in turn that I don't consider. If you have to pit or something, yeah. So we said it was going to be mid lead group smart. Bigler is up. 
Five, six, five scared me a bit. Uh, no, Brody Pettis doesn't have it. Aaron Hartley. Uh, one, four, one, no. Paxton McLaren. Two, one, f no, one, two, four. Yes, that is good enough because Torvo, Torvo can only block three. So McLaren will take the lead, but with Mixon and Jason Leonard still up. Oh, no. Cooper Mixon, 1-1-1. One, one, one. No. Not Cooper. He rolls a 62. Clutch problem. Roll for repair. He's a B in the third, the final third. This is only a six. And rolls a 10. Cooper Mixon, the guy who won stage one, but is second in stage two, is going to be out. <sighs> In 38th position. Now, the good thing about the points is that, again, Mixon got 19 stage points. Plus, now that in the the way the points go is the bottom five drivers get one point. Then it goes up two, three, four, five the rest of the way. So Mixon is the sickest person out. So he'll get two points plus the 19. So he'll be at 21 points. Which, as I said, should be enough to pass Bush and Walker, but... There's still some good people uh, still in this race. So Mixon is out. He goes into the HVG Racing Garage. Um, so we are going to Jason Leonard, our last roll. Four, six, four. McLaren cannot block four, so... Jason Leonard gets his lap or gets his lead back. Now Torville's gonna move up. Hartley, Pettis, and Bigler move up. We're gonna roll to see if Julie Justice takes the spot. She does. So she moves into the top group. Now we'll see who moves into the bottom group. It's not Monica Merrick. It is Robbie Piotrowski. So sorry if the lighting is weird. I don't know why. I've got... I feel like every video we're going to see today is different lighting. <laughs> It's a beautiful day outside. I'm right next to the window. I'm not get it catching that light much. I've also got both lights on, but it still seems like I'm in, at least from my vantage point, it looks like it's, you know, evening. <laughs> and since all these videos were taped out of order, um, yeah, you're going to see a bunch of different costume changes and <laughs> lighting. All right, so that was just one turn because it was a problem. So we're at turn 36. Five turns to go. And we've got a duel. It's going to be the 11th and 10th place drivers dealing with the 9th and 8th place drivers. So Trostel is going to move past Daly. Daly now has to block or survive an 8. And rolls a 6, so that's fine. Uh, Rossi. Does not, so Rossi has to be the one to defend the eight. And it's the three, so not a bad roll. Only one spot changed, and it was Trostel. And we go to the pit stop. Uh, it's going to be TV drivers uh, with the fives and the sixes. And the only TV driver is that's in the middle or the top group is Jason Leonard. <laughs> so this might be Jason Leonard's race. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I only have to do one, one roll. It's Leonard. He does not even get it because he rolled a 9 and he's fast fit as a 7, which hurts him now because... Uh, Jordy Pettis is going to have a shot, and only a six is not going to take the lead. 
And he rolls a five. Jordy Pettis takes the lead with three turns to go. So let's see. Torval took that. Oh, for, for one. Leonard. Oh. And now Jordy Pettis. Jordy Pettis is like the one dominant person. Jordy and Julie are the two that are the, like the dominant race car drivers who have not had problems. But we have three turns to go. We could wipe them out too. <laughs> uh, bottom group five again. That's gonna benefit Pettis because we're gonna we'll get bottom group reflex. Corey Wallace gets two chances to get back into this race. Oh, but rolls a six on the first. Six of thirty-six. Oh, I'm like I lost the die, but I got it. Die down, one, two, four. Odd, two, four. Jeff Daly is going to go down to the bottom. And a good, good turn for, uh, for Corey Wallace. So, reflex, Chase Fetterman, who had that problem earlier. Five, one, two is not good enough. Joe Bob Walker. We haven't heard much from him. Uh, Red Six. That might be why. Cor Kurt Bryson, who had an early problem, but has made his way to 32nd. And 156, odd five, Robbie Piotrowski is going to drop. And good job, Kurt Bryson. Back to Carson Harker. Can he get back into it? 4-4. Four, 4-4-6. Four, 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 Even for... Six is Kevin Pettis and Harger. I think they almost swapped positions, but yeah. So Kevin Pettis is there. Joey Planka. Joey was up there at the beginning of the race, but has done nothing since and will do nothing this time. Uh, Cam Croyle. Uh, odd 6 4. It's going to knock Pete McAtee back. Oh. Poor Pete, because without, uh, without any stage points, he is not going to have a good points day. Wyatt Xander, 3-3-4. Three, three, Odd, 3-4. Oh, poor Axel Barbo. That's such a great race. They're going to go down to the back now. Just kind of been quietly sitting in the top 15. Going to be 25th now. Even 4-6 for, for Noah Freilig. And it's going to knock Carson back. But Carson did improve six positions. Amy Sarah, Another person we haven't heard anything from today. 5-5-6. Uh, five, five, no. Justin Mahler. 4-6-6. Six, six, but there's only a three. Darn. And Monica Merrick. Who's just sitting in 20th place. Minding her own business. And it's going to stay there. Alright. That is turd 38. Two to go. Oh, it's again going to be... It's going to be smart. It's going to be the bottom group. And it's going to be a problem afterwards. Which, there's enough spots. We might miss that problem, but we'll see. Jeff Daly gets one last shot. Four, five, four. Even five, four. Yes, poor Irv Wagon Seller. <laughs> Going to finish 37, unless something major happens. Uh, Chris Wynn, odd 6-2, odd 6-2. No, Clarkson has two. I don't even have to look at the rest. Um, oh, wow. Pete McAtee. Even 6-4. Yes, because he can block three, but not four. So Pete McAtee will actually, might come out of this okay. Clark Snook. Oh no, Clark Snook was the person. No. So, uh, Carson Hargart, one, six, three, or six, six, three, one. No. And that's it. All right, turn 39 is done. We go to the last turn of the race. 
It is a duel, so this will be Jordy Pettis will win unless a caution comes up. Freelix and Drake. Drake is gonna go for Trostel. He moves up, he moves Trostel. Drake's gonna get a top ten. Trostel needs to dodge a nine. And gets a nine, so the nine was actually he needed a nine or less. He needed to uh his escape rating was a nine. So he rolled a nine, he's fine. I worded that wrong. Uh Freylix will move up into eighth. Kerry Castiola needs to uh, a nine or less. They both had escape ratings of nine in this one. And it's a seven. That is the end of the race. Jordy Pettis is going to be your winner. Jordy, multiple, multiple time winner. Maybe even close to the winningest driver with Julie Justice and Ray Bob Walker. But Jordy is going to have a win and get himself into the playoffs. See where Jordy was prior to this race. Uh, Jordy was. I'm seeing so many J's because we have Ray Bob Walker and Joe Bob Walker. We have three Pettises and. Uh, but. Jordy Pettis was 15th in points with a big day like this. This is gonna probably move him into the top 10. He is going to be now the new, uh, uh, he is going to be in the playoffs, whether it'll be the point leader or not, but he should be the number one seed because he'll have more points than Matt Bush. Uh, so we are done with this race. Jordy Pettis with the lead. Paxton McLaren in second. Look at this little group here. Paxton McLaren takes second in a great run for him. Donna Torville, who is bouncing all around, finishes third. Aaron Hartley, after the great run by Dick Exum last race, gets fourth. Jason Leonard, who led most of this race, uh, will get fifth. Julie Justice, solid run, gets sixth. Austin Bigler, seventh. Uh, in the middle group, we have Noah Freilich, Parnell Drake, Tom Rossi rounding out the top ten. Great run for the five team. Uh, Corey Wallace, an eleventh. Blake Schlegel, that non-trophy driver, gets twelfth. Wyatt Xander, 13th. Kerry Cassiola, 14th. Trevor Trostel, 15th. Uh, Jeff Daly, 16th. Kurt Bryson, 17th. Piston Pete McAtee, 18th. And Cam Croyle, 19th. Uh, the bottom group had Monica American, 20, 20th. Uh, Disco Stu Yurikin, 21st in a part time role. Uh, Justin Mahler in 22nd. Amy Sarah in 23rd. Carson Hargart, who just was everywhere, was 24th. Axel Barbeau in 25th. Marla McGarry, 26th. Clark Snook, 27th. Joey Plunka, 28th. Moondog Hamilton, 29th. Kevin Pettis, 30th. Alex Hodge, 31st. Robbie Piotrowski, 32nd. Joe Bob Walker, 33rd. Chase Fetterman, 34th. Link Revere, 35th. Chris Wynn, 36th. Herb Wagonseller rounding out the ones that finished in 37th. And then Cooper Mixon, Brooks Bilovich, Ray Bob Walker, Wayne Montana, Buck Trimble, and Matt Bush were out. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, uh, this these videos will be going on every three hours, basically, uh, throughout the day, throughout the next 24 hours, or 25 hours, really. Uh, so feel free to uh, subscribe or uh, check out the High Volume Games channel for the rest of the day. And we'll be having some great games over the next 25 hours. So, And also check in the link in the description below for not only uh, Red, White, and Blue Racing. <laughs> check that out over at playclassic.com. Uh, and again, the link will be in the description for that, but also um, the Extra Life Marathon, the Extra Life uh, fundraising effort that we're doing for Children's Miracle Network and the Boston Children's Hospital. Uh, the link is in the description. If you'd like to donate, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if not, if you want to just check it out, go ahead, check, click the link, 
And again, we hope to see you later on. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a great start to the day.